fear to me can be broken down in three ways. Um, fear of failure, fear of judgment, or fear of success even. And that, that it's a weird one, it's the fear of success, but it's, it's real and it's, it's a subconscious uh, block that we have and it's our ego trying to keep us safe from the unknown. And it can be a guaranteed you know, healthy move or healthy change or successful change, but really it's just, it's different. And so when we you know, are presented with change, it's just like this emotional cycle, this emotional roller coaster. And I talk about it in my, uh, my presentations, but you know, it's just this five stage series that we go through when it comes to change and fear is usually the driving factor. It's that emotion that blocks certain actions. And so if we can audit our thoughts and change our thoughts, we get a new emotional response. We become a new emotional being, a new being that allows us to take new action and create a new reality for ourselves. So um, I don't know, I'm just really interested in that aspect and I've gone through a lot of things from BMX to nutrition to fitness and to now mindset and psychology and beliefs and subconscious and um, fear is always a factor in anything we do and especially when it comes to change and so I just really want to encourage you guys to, to not be crippled by fear, not to really get angry at it or to get angry at yourself for not being able to move forward but really just thinking like you know, what are the thoughts that you have that are becoming beliefs and stories that we tell ourselves and we live by because that's really what's driving that emotional response we're getting and that's leading us to taking action or not taking action, which is always gonna manifest a result or a reality either way. And if we don't like that reality, just go back to the drawing board and start over.